firstly, I'd like to talk about my background of the learnership, why I entered, and my expectations. In the course of this learnership, uh, I had hopes of understanding and ex uh, expanding my mm, sorry, and expanding my knowledge in um, the different departments and in the retail industry. After passing my matric with a bachelor's pass, I still didn't qualify to go into university and study what I wanted to study, which was mm -hmm. life. Therefore, doing this uh, learnership was a great opportunity um, for my aspirations and experience that I needed in life to get other jobs and so forth. Uh, my journey with this camp has been a huge stepping stone towards my career and goals. I've discovered um, other parts of me that I didn't know of. I've learned to be patient, strong, and independent. I've also learned that nobody has the power to intimidate me, um, and that is my power. To stand for what I believe in, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gulani Mangani and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my disc camp journey, how I got into disc camp, um, the process of getting to disc camp, and my retail leadership in a, in a nutshell. So before we get right into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we're on a road to 100 subscribers. So yeah, let's get it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is like how I apply. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is how I apply for the leadership, how it happened, the process, my my highlights, the bad and the good, um, do I regret it, all of that good stuff. If you have any questions regarding the, what I'm going to talk about and everything, if you want to learn more or anything like that, Make sure, make sure to comment them down below and I'll be glad to answer them. Although I'm going to put that like the website of a Discam, like the Discam careers. There are a lot of opportunities for you guys to apply for and a, and a lot of jobs. So I'm going to put the link down below and you can apply there. And yeah, let's get right into the video. First thing, how I applied for the leadership. I applied for the leadership through... um. I was introduced um, by my mom and my mom was introduced by her colleague you know how it goes for part-time jobs and the learnerships a list of different types of learnerships applied and uh, the discount one appeared um, along came with the cosmetics the finance internship and yeah this one as well and the pharmacist one the pharmacist one is always available like every year so you can even check it out now but the retail one it comes different times of the year like towards the end of the year yeah so i applied for the leadership and everything and i was doing matrix so i didn't have any qualification they were like they're looking for someone who has a matrix certificate but i like i put in my um cv that i am doing matric i'm currently doing matric with these subjects etc etc so initially they called so after applying for that they gave me a questionnaire answered that questionnaire and then they called me after two weeks to do a telephonic interview and yeah so i applied in october and then they called me in november november or short december -ish. yeah they called me for a telephonic interview they're like yeah how are you i'm good I go to, to talk. We're doing a telephonic interview. These calls are recorded. Da, 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 I'm like, yeah, sure, cool. And then at that point, they didn't even know what I was 
being interviewed for because I had applied for so many different jobs and I was in a busy place so I didn't know what the specific telephonic interview is for like I wasn't aware that it's for the retail leadership and at the time I didn't even know what this chem who this chem is and all of that because I was familiar with clicks rather than this chem like I hadn't even seen this chem in my life before so in the in the interview like oh, what is the seventh month of year I'm like what like yeah what is the seventh month of the year like <laughs> okay July the like what's 10 divided by 5 I'm like okay answer the questions and everything I mean after that they like they will call me if um, I'm successful so they don't call me for like such a long time or no communication nothing and at that point I was waiting for an email to say okay congratulations you've passed this telephonic interview we interviewing to come through so 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 that passed December the whole of December they said nothing and then January mid January they called me for a interview for an assessment interview and the email wrote the email read dear retail ownership applicants you are invited it is the email read it gives us great pleasure to announce that you have successfully passed the telephonic interview with Diskim pharmacies we invite you to pass the <laughs> we invite you to participate in the next step of the process being assessment and face to face speed interview. We have a mass number of people to interview, therefore, we require you to stick to the times and dates as per below. And they gave me all the details. This this interview was in, well, my specific interview was in the clean. So I got there, I wrote a bunch of tests, a bunch of tests. <laughs> I wrote a bunch of tests, and after that, they called us in one by one to interview us. So then they called us to interview us one by one and we're like okay so if you get the initial where do you want to go da, 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 my it's close home etc etc et the whole process then they're like we'll call you after two weeks if you have passed the interview to, to tell you the next step so and at the time i was upgrading my marks because i didn't get space to go into university so that whole year my plan was to upgrade my marks they called after two weeks again uh, next they called and they also sent a confirmation email and this one was an interview with the regional manager. My my original interview was in Fondorboa. So yeah. And when I got there I wrote another bunch of tests of the writing that test. Interviewed by the regional manager and I was like, yeah, so what do you want to do? What do you see yourself in five years? Like he was asking questions that are that were out of context for me because he wasn't asking questions regarding the learnership and regarding what I what what is expected for me in the learnership. So I'm like he's like be honest, otherwise if you're not honest we're gonna pick it up and we won't even take you because you're not being honest. So I was like, honestly I wanna see myself as a lawyer, owning my big firm, all of those things. And then he was like, yo, I like you. you you take in, you in. I'm like, what? Are you serious? He's like, yeah, you in. Uh, he asked his assistant, assistant, write her down. Like, he, she's in. I like her. She's in. As long as you're going to work hard and you're not going to quit down the line. Because down the line, it is going to be difficult. You are going to be facing some challenges. And yeah. And funny story is that all these places that I was going to the interviews, I didn't know. And the funny story with all of that, like my aunt was always there in all these interviews. She had to wake up early and accompany me because, and I like, I didn't even know these places. So shout out to her for doing all of that. I am forever grateful. And like, there was so many crazy scenarios <laughs> while she was waiting for me. Her pants got torn and everything. Like she really sacrificed a lot of her time and her sleep just to be there for me and support me throughout this interview process so i'm thankful for that shout out to my aunt <laughs> and then so yeah after that in uh, original interview waited two weeks after that like in march in march i got this message that was for the 21st of february 
and i went in midrand i didn't know where midrand is this was for signing the contract for for them explaining what is expected from us and what is expected from our mentors because we had mentors and the mentor would be either the store manager or one of the managers in the store so that they explained everything to us and the rules and regulations how we're going to be attending our classes because in the in a learnership of course you um they give you an opportunity to get work experience like when you are physically in the store and to attend classes so when you attend classes you write exams and they teach you everything that you need to know like the departments and what goes on it's the theoretical part of the learnership and then you being in store is like the the practical part so yeah that happened so that's how everything happened um i learned everything i'm grateful for all the moments all the people that i met i am grateful for given for this camp to give me the opportunity to explore the work grateful for the opportunity for this camp to allow me to express myself to meet new people to give me the work experience to like the education and everything that they've given me like i am so grateful for that and i don't regret it at all i i am grateful i'm honestly grateful it's been a long year and oh the last part of the leadership like when when the leadership was ending we had to do a we had to do a presentation of everything that we've learned in the store and attending our classes so that was a very nerve-wracking thing for me to do i was so nervous and i'm like i was so nervous guys like i was very very nervous i like it was a big moment for me to explain all my difficulties and everything so it was it was overwhelming like i wanted to cry because i knew some people i wouldn't see again cuz when the leadership ends either they give you a permanent post they let you go or you continue with the leadership so i knew that some of my classmates i wouldn't see them anymore unless i go where they working if they take cuz most of them were going to take permanent positions so i was like so sad cuz it it's been a roller coaster guys it's been a roller coaster so that's my experience in a nutshell yeah i think i've explained everything in detail what i do in this game and yeah so if you have any questions that you want to ask me anything that you want to know feel free to comment them down below or you can dm me on instagram well in any of, in any of my social medias if you want to know even anything if you want me to do any videos please let me know so that's it that's the end of this video guys thank you so much to this cam for giving me this opportunity thank you to my family for supporting me throughout cuz there were moments where by i would just break down there were moments where by i wanted to quit and like you know what i can't take this anymore it's a lot and it's a great opportunity i've grown so much like i've learned a lot i don't regret doing the leadership i would do it again and again and again and yeah i'm just grateful for this opportunity cuz not many people get an opportunity to work straight out of high school so i am grateful for it i am one of the lucky people again thank you to this camp for choosing me out of so many people that i applied and i'm going to continue making you guys proud and making myself proud and yeah so that's it So yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I will see you next week because I'm told that's how YouTube works.